Our two-time champ, Stefano Sitsipas, thank you for joining us at our TC FanDuel desk. Steph, well done today. You gave the man one game. You seem to be swinging very freely, continuing where you left off in that opening round. It felt good. I um, started off with a breakdown, yep. and since that happened, I felt like I was uh, <laughs> I was really feeling the ball better than any any, any time before. Um, I was able to really dictate and. Uh, you know, opening angles, it felt really good. The, the ball was coming off my racket uh, really nice, extra sharp today. Yeah. Uh, I felt like uh, I was able to do a lot of damage by opening up the court and then going uh, down the line. It, I kind of worked pretty well today. I had a great consistency on it. And uh, we had a lot of games, though, where I felt they were close, mm. like a lot of 30 alls and 40 alls. Yeah. And I was able to win all of them. So there we go. It ended the way it ended. When something like that happens, what do you what do you attribute that to? Uh, just because it's not easy to play so well on every single one of the big points, but today it really did seem like one of those situations. I would describe it as a great balance in between patience and then knowing when to attack. Mm. So that would be the difference. Sometimes you can rush a bit too much, and then you know your opponent kind of hangs in there, defends pretty well, and then you're going, you're going, you're going, you end up maybe uh, throwing in an unforced there. It's kind of that perfect balance of knowing how to attack once and then kind of wait again and then go again at it. So I was able to really do that well today and uh, didn't leave no, I didn't leave any room for error. Uh, I felt like I was able to swing freely. The ball kept going in. Uh, that gave me a lot of confidence knowing that I can really swing uh, through the ball and get that great perfect consistency. And with that, my confidence grew bigger and bigger, and I think my game improved overall during the entirety of the match. Uh, I finished the match with even better than I, I started it with. One of the biggest stats on, on clay is, of course, your second serve, how you defend it and how you attack the opponent's second serve. You won almost 80% of your points on your second serve, and you held him to 14% for his second serve. Do you feel you're in as good a rhythm in the early rounds as you did in your two title runs here? Yes, I would say so. I mean, you know, every opponent is different and they have a, they throw a different profile at you when you have to face them. Sure. Some of them play flatter, otherwise use much more the heavy top spin. So they all, they all come in different variations uh, and styles of play. I, my sort of job is to adapt to those different styles and make it work for myself. You know, today we spoke about it a few days ago, how I was uh, throwing a few on for stirs right. in my first round match that I felt like I needed to press a little bit more and create a little bit more damage from the beginning of the point. I ended up doing the opposite of that today and my consistency grew bigger and I was able to really dictate and, and see the court better uh, throughout uh, play, which I didn't before. One of the one of the big attributes to your game, especially you see it on the clay, is is your physical. You know, you really impose yourself on your opponent. We saw you doing some cool training in LA when you were at the Red Bull and APC facilities there. I think with oxygen mask and stuff, pushing the technology. Any any sure. new things that we can we can learn about that you're into? Basic stuff. I mean, all, all athletes go through these tests. Um, look I did like, a look test. like Tom Cruise in Top Gun with that <laughs> thing on. You know? Well, I take my preparation for the clay court swing pretty seriously. Yeah, so. Yeah. I already started loading in Santa Monica about a few <laughs> weeks ago, before the clay court swing even yeah. um, comes up. So I was still in Miami at the time, but uh, I did those tests. Uh, it was it's important for me to to go through these uh, three. Uh, obviously, my sponsor Red Bull has been incredibly uh, incredibly good with me, allowing me to use any facilities that they have around the world. And uh, I took the opportunity. I went there to test and see how my um, oxygen levels are, my blood, all that stuff really important for any athlete to, to go through this stuff and uh, yeah get a, some sort of measurement to understand where I lack and where I can uh, become better. We, uh, we see a lot of footballers around here of course in, in Monaco but you got to hang and play a little at uh, Inter Miami with one of the footballers of all time Mr. Beckham how was yes. that you and Paula were there? That was a lot of fun we spoke with uh, David he loves tennis yeah. uh, he told us how his uh, kids you know they used to be really big into tennis, but they stopped recently. Um, I remember those days. <laughs> uh, but yes, we spoke about sports, uh, about mentality. He told me about his future plans with Inter Miami. So it was quite interesting to get a, um, a different uh, sort of a conversation with, uh, that we don't get to interact with people like this every day. Right. Um, he was uh, very nice to us, you know, hosted, uh, hosted us in the, in the perfect way. 
uh, we got to play a little bit of, of uh, soccer, as you guys say it, <laughs> and uh, see the ground. So it was definitely a lovely experience. I would love to do it again in the future. Yeah. Uh, a great, well-deserved day off for me. He's got a great uh, doc on Netflix. You should check it out. I already saw oh, it. You have to. Very so good. So I met him after the fact. Oh, yeah. amazing! Yeah. Amazing. I spoke um, about that too. You have a you have a big match coming up next. We're all looking forward to it. You'll take on Zverev, two opponents that are very familiar with each other. Um, so what about this this chapter in the rivalry? We've written a lot of different chapters. Yes, that's with, right. Uh, that's right. Uh, Sasha, and uh, this is one more to the books. Um, well, it's a, we've we've played each other on a lot of different instances, and and, and we have we have had long battles, and uh, crazy matches take place in different places around the world. Um, you know, uh, he's a player that you know pushes me further. He he gives me so much uh, of my uh, he brings out of out of me the kind of the, the best that I can bring out of my t game in tennis. I think these uh, these matches are important for both of us, and I'm, I'm hoping to get out there. Show great consistency, you know. Try and strive for that great clay court tennis that I've shown in the past, and uh, I think tomorrow is is an opportunity to really uh, display that. It's going to be very exciting for us, man. We can't wait. Just a little spice, if you want to throw it on there. Two guys with great hair, maybe loser, gotta shave their head. Wow, that's a big bet. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving great ideas um, and a bit risky as well. <laughs> Uh, Steph, listen, go get some rest, man. We wish you the very best of luck. Thank you.